right, people. Y'all already know what it is. We are here on 81st and Vernon uh, with the family of Kiara Coles, with the friends and loved ones. We're here to um, show respect. It's a press conference. It's an organization, or I think it's a financial organization, that is donating another $18,000. That's what I heard, so I'm hoping I'm correct on that. So we're out here right now. They're praying right now. Uh, for, uh, praying. So I'm just, y'all excuse me how I look, but you know, it is what it is. I'm looking all rough. Let me turn my head backwards. Maybe that'll be a little better. Maybe that'll be a little better, yeah. But, uh, so that we out here, I'm finna tune in, let y'all see what's going on. Uh, finna turn around. What's up, Angel? I see you. Hey, y'all. All right, here it is. Here we go. Press conference. Our young women are going missing without a trace. Kiara Coles have been missing since October. We have to come together as a community, the police, this community, the state of Illinois and the city of Chicago, to find these missing women. We have three that are missing. Area South on 111th Street has all three of these cases. I've been diligently talking with those detectives. They have been working, the postal, our police has been working, but we need to tighten up the grip everywhere with the community and bond with everybody, everybody that's out here to help bring these babies home and bring them home safe. If you have any knowledge of where either one of these women are, even those who have the information and that are staying quiet, what the slightest information, you don't have to come in and give your name, you don't have to tell who you are, but if you have that information, what led up to the disappearance of these three sisters, then give us a call at 1-800-YOU-TELL-US. 1-800-883-5587. We don't want to know who you are. Only thing we want to know is the whereabouts where this family can locate their loved ones. Kiara Cole's been missing since October. Miss Shant is it Shantice? Shantay. Shantay. Bryla been missing, has a seven-year-old son, and he wants his mother. Kiara Cole family wants their baby, wants their daughter. We have a, 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 a Hispanic 19-year-old, been missing since last Tuesday, didn't show up to get her babies from the daycare. So we're asking the city just to bond together. Stop pointing fingers at what happened here, what happened there. If you don't want to get involved, then stay out of it. Families don't have time for negativity. You got men up here, the postal presidents too, anybody up here that you can call and get the information where these ladies at. Because if you're calling and talking about negative, then stay away. If you're going to get the Chicago Police Department a postal inspection information that they need, call in with solid information because they are following up on the leads. But don't call in with dumb stuff because, see, we don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. All we want to do is bring these ladies home. It's just simple as that. So now I'm going to uh, turn you over to the uh, postal president. Then my buddy here going to take it from here because we're going to hear some some good voices, some God-gifted voices back here. And the Postal family is here too. The Neighborhood family is here too. And I'd like to thank the media for coming out. But most important, these little families is looking for their loved ones. This is what it's all about right here. And it's a heartache and pain. And Joseph, the father, his heart is heavy too. I want to put that on your mind. His heart is heavy too. The mother, Akira Cole, heart is heavy. How do you think she's sleeping at night? It's not good at all. So you don't want to be in these ladies' shoes. You don't want to be in that family's shoes. You don't want to be in the postal family's shoes. You don't want to be in the shoes looking for your baby daughter. And as a man, your baby girl. It's too much pain. I ain't in, I haven't been in their shoes, don't want to be in their shoes. But I am in the shoes of a father with a daughter that has been murdered. So I know how that feels. But I don't know how it feels to be looking for your daughter day in and day out. Good afternoon, everyone. As Andrew stated, my name is Mac Julian. I'm president of the National Association of Letter Carriers, local branch number 11, right here in Chicago, which uh, Sister Kiara Coles was indeed a member in good standings. Uh, she's a member of ours who has been missing for over seven months now. And in that time, there was a, a reward money put out there 
totaling 28500 Last week, I got a call from Sir Finance, and those who are postal employees and government employees may be familiar with Sir Finance. And the owner, Jerry Glass, representative of his, said that he wanted to do something to contribute to help find our sister, Kiara Cole. They presented us with a check last week of $18,000 to go towards that reward. All right. The total stands right now at $46,500. If someone knows something, anything, could you please say something? You know something, say something. You know, it's unfortunate that it may take an incentive like this, but the money is out there. We just want to find our sister. We know that she was three months pregnant at the time. And so she would, wherever she is, uh, she, she's had the baby by now. If anyone knows something, by all means, please say something. Because we're not going to go quiet. We're not going to let this rest. We're going to continue to have vigils. We're going to continue to do all that we can. We're going to keep the pressure on the postal inspection service, the police. They've been working with us. They've been working with Andrew. Any kind of lead that we have, we're not going to allow this to become a cold case. We're going to find out what happened to our system. So right now, the reward stands at 46500 If you know something, say something. Bring that sister of ours home. Bring that daughter home uh, to us. Uh, thank you. Okay. We would take any brown penny that is can be put up as a reward for some incentives, but let's be mindful. Their life is worth more than any penny that we can put up, but if you got that information that can lead us to them, then so be it. Uh, right now, before he, uh, he takes it over to get started, I'm gonna bring uh, Miss, Miss Coles. And I'm, I'm gonna bring her here, and you know what? I'm gonna do it just like this. Come on, on the other mother, because they're feeling that pain. And then you can take it from there, and we we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. uh, Karen. <laughs> if you all have any questions for him, go ahead. My name is Sterling Ross, and my niece, who I raised since she was nine years old, is, is missing. I reported her missing on March 18th, but I really believe she's been missing since the 14th of March. And we've been working with the, the police department, and she's got an 11-year-old son. She's got an 11-year-old son who misses her, we miss her, and all we want is to bring her home. However it is, whatever it is, we just, we just need her home. Asking the community, you know, don't bother. We have an idea who is involved, and I'm asking the community, don't bother this person. Because if you do, you, you just as guilty. So, that's all I have to say. What is your name again? Eileen Sterling Ross. Can you spell Eileen, please? E I L E E N. And what is your relation to her? That's my niece. I raised her since she was nine. My name is Kiana, and I am Kiara Cole's little sister. And um, in so many words, we just hope that somebody could bring her home and want her and her baby. And it's a, it's hard for me because they take an idea. I just don't want my sister gone forever. And I, wish, and I hope that somebody out there or somebody that do know what's going on can help us give her a safe return, her and my niece or nephew. We didn't get a chance to find out what it was going to be, but we hoping that when she finally do return, that it is with her and her baby. And if anybody knows something, please, please, please just let us know. It shouldn't take money to get somebody. That's right. That's right. Because if it was you, if it was you in our shoes, you would be feeling the same way. I'm just hoping for a better day. Because I think about her every day. It's hard. May 
Obviously, the family's been pretty. I hadn't heard about it until today, but the family has to have been kind of looking for a long time, I see. Yeah. What have you been doing? We've been posting on flyers, internet, you know, social media. Listen, please come home. Okay, people, uh, that's the press conference still going on. I just want to let you guys know what's going on. Uh, I, actually, I believe it's uh, they offered up the reward for Kiara Coles, 41500 I think that's the number that they said. Um, also, the other young lady that's missing, she don't have a reward, but I, not that I know of, but they are sharing her in my organization, me and Vera, missing please come home and doing a lot of social media campaign so again i'm gonna get back to the interview for those just tuning in to just just to let you guys know what's going on happening here um so what it is they interviewing press conference family both families out here disturbed actually just another young lady i think it's three families out here so all right let me turn it back around You will trick. You will tell. It's not about the money. It's about family. And Chicago should be your family. You should not give a damn because, oh, she's not my family. She's not my sister. She's not my mother. It could have been your mother. It could have been your wife. It could have been your sister. And Chicago needs to man up and break the code of silence. Because as long as this go on, people get kidnapped, throwing their cars off the street like it ain't nothing. And nobody won't do nothing. So you got to stand up as a people and just take control of your life and what you're doing. So that's what we need to do coming together as people, though. If you see something trick, tell. Break the code of silence. And today I want to introduce my ninja show of people. I got Bookbag. He's going to do a song dedicated to Kara Coles. Come on, Bookbag. There you go. Good afternoon and evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Bookbag. That's B-O-O-Q-B-A-A-G. And it's not exactly a song. It's an actual poem. Uh, first off, I want to say uh, my condolences to the families. Uh, I'm an orphan, so I don't know I don't know anything about what y'all feeling. But hopefully the words that I got can help give y'all some peace and semblance. It says, it's taken time to formulate the words I'm about to say. No more tears left to cry and no more prayers to pray. Finding peace within pain, it's insane, but yet we stay. Scared to accept the truth behind the significance of today. So we laugh, we joke. We drink, we smoke, but it's hidden in plain sight. No action, no hope. But this is someone else's problem, they say. She's not even my fam. Well, that's what they thought when they took her. That's why they didn't give a damn. I could say something slick, cute, coy, or cliche, but just turn your ears off for a moment and just feel what I'm about to say. This issue is an issue. 
and it's way past the overdue. It's been close to a year now and still haven't found half a clue? More than meets the eye, yes. A transformer at best. No mean machine can calculate the pain that drips from our chest. Give it a rest? Not highly, not likely, not ever. The love that was shelled felt better than this weather. So wherever you're at, just know you're not, you're not alone. And these words we shall sing until the day you come home. The road's not tough, got quite a few scars, and nobody is to blame for the way that we are. So let's pray that she can find a way. She needs to find a way so we can have a better day. Okay, I know we feel lost because Kiara is gone and the pain's too much, but we gotta stay strong and just pray that she can find a way. She needs to find a way so we can have a better day. Okay, come on home, Kiara. We love you. That's right. That's right. Thank you all, Book Band, for your inspirational song. I next have Jay Lynch. She's going to do a song dedicated to Kara Cole. Thank you, Jay Lynch. I just want to say that, you know, it seems like we do have an epidemic of our women coming up missing, especially our black women. And we know that people out here, you guys know what's going on. If you, if you just want to give an anonymous tip, you can mail it in, text it in, or have somebody else just tell somebody else and give these families some peace because we all have children. And I couldn't even imagine if that happened to my child. So please treat it like it's your own child and say something. And I just have a little a bit, little bit of an inspirational rec song I want to say. <clears throat> it's one of those days that life I know on the rights of this music I had to uh, kind of turn from there and make sure I said that I don't own the rights to this music that you're about to hear. Uh, so don't own the rights to this music. So um, that's where we at. We right here, people, 81st and Vernon. Yeah, 81st and Vernon, people. That's where we at. Yeah, we're still in memory, trying to find our dear sister, Kiara Coles. Yep, I don't own the rights to this music, so wasn't nothing personal people I had to get away because I know Facebook may be strict on me and I'm not letting no music come through here unless I had that thing written down. Don't own the rights to this music that you hear. I don't own the rights to this music. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm still out here, people. Yeah, I'm still out here, people. who can't be there to help themselves at the time. 
So if you know of anybody that can benefit from this resource, this tool, it's called Document the Abuse. It's an evidentiary abuse affidavit, and it can be filled out by anyone. And you can help someone fill that out so that people know what they're going through, so that people know what they're saying. people uh, still out here briefly there was a person that was talking I think she had experienced of uh, a loss of a loved one missing so she came here to support uh, Kara Cole's family and the family of uh, Shante yeah yeah so that's what we had people shared on your page shared on your page Young lady you just seen, that was Tiffany. She's very instrumental in the community as well. people I'm going to end this this live I preach yeah in this live she's singing ain't she singing young lady don't own the rights to this music I don't own the rights to this music I don't own the rights to this music thank y'all people yeah, it's a very sad situation Thank y'all for tuning in. As I'm quite sure there's other people out here that's on live. Uh, young lady, she's singing that song. I don't own the rights to this music. I don't own the rights to this music. She's singing. She's singing. I got to give it to her. She is singing that song. She is singing that song. Yes, yeah, she is. I don't own the rights to this music. I don't own the rights. Say the prayer. Uh, say a prayer for all the families. I think it's like two families out here. With uh, missing two or three, I think. Yeah, yeah. All right, people. Thank y'all for tuning in. This is live, uncut, unedited. The Crime Chaser. Peace out. Pray for the missing families. Shout out to my partner Vera. Missing, please come home. Somebody coming on the sidewalk here. Oh, there goes Joseph. They go the father. Joseph. Yeah.
All right, people. I'm signing off. I'm gone. I'm still here. I'm still here, but I'm signing off, people. This is live, uncut, unedited. I'll meet you here. Take the pizza. Come on.